there are um, there are multiple uh, multiple options uh, or treatments available. Um, there are actually uh, the first things that, that we would like that we like to do is make sure that the, that the, the patient is safe. Uh, because if the parasomnias, by definition, are abnormal, abnormal behaviors during sleep, where the person, you know, can get out, can get out of the room, can uh, actually try to hit a bed partner in some occasion, or you hit a, you know, fell, fell out of the, they can fall out of bed, or even uh, do some other behavior it can be potentially dangerous. We want to make sure that the first they are uh, in a safe environment. Um, and then there are diff different ways to do that. Uh, that consists from either uh, using bed railings for, so they you know, they don't get out of the bed, or even at times uh, putting the bed at the level of the of the floor so you minimize any uh, any uh, you know any falls, uh, or and making sure that you remove anything that is uh, close to the bed, such as uh, you know either desk or lamps or things along those lines. Uh, now, in terms of medications, um, for for the non-REM parasomnias, the, the ones that usually occur in uh, during, out, out of non-REM sleep, um, one of the mainstays of therapy, in, in, depending on the type, but most commonly people tend to use a, a benzodiazepines, different type of benzodiazepines, most, most commonly clonazepam, but, but those seems to be the, the, the one that is most commonly used. Now, there are different treatment options, but that's the most common one. Uh, albeit, albeit there's no uh, big trials or randomized clinical trials to show that, that that one treatment is better than the other. This is really based on a um, really, really a large, I mean, more like uh, large studies or observational studies or, or uh, more like case control studies over, over time. For REM parasomnias, uh, we use two main medications. One is melatonin that you can actually buy over the counter. And, and, and also you can use uh, clonazepam. Uh, uh, another, the, the same benzodiazepine, those are the two ones that have most data uh, to be using in that type of parasomnias. And what they do is they suppress uh, or minimize the behaviors uh, during sleep uh, so the person doesn't act out of dreams.